Hey friends, it's Min here from Honest Stamp Page again. I'm going to share another sneak peek from the Pay It Forward YouTube Crafters video hop. We are going to be hopping this Saturday, May 16th, and this is sponsored by MHK Designs, which is kind of me. I've got some digital products that I'm going to be giving away as well as a tangible prize that you'll get to see on Saturday. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek of these digital sets. So I've got the Pay It Forward stamps and the Pay It Forward papers. I'm going to be using these different images all throughout the week to share different ways that you can use them in Photoshop. Today I'm going to be using this beautiful butterfly image and the To My Amazing Friend sentiment. And then I wanted to showcase the papers even though I'm not technically using them. I created them to be the same colors as the hop. So here are these beautiful butterflies and I'm going to show you what I did to create the background and then how I easily recolored it without having to redo the work. So one of these is orange, one is yellow, and we're going to start with a three and three quarters inch by five and a half inch um, panel or rather layer. And then I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill it in black because I want to create some sort of a border for my card panel. And then I'm gonna make a white rectangle so that it's not just all black, it's got that black border, but the panel itself is white. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and create a kind of a sky background using a light blue and a yellow to create a gradient, a linear gradient. And so that gives it kind of like, it's kind of like the sun is coming up or something is what I was going for. And I really liked those bright colors because it's spring. And I felt like they went well with this beautiful swallowtail butterfly image. So I pulled that in, I resized it, I moved it exactly where I wanted it. I wanted it to be extra big. And then I decided that I wanted to go ahead and color behind it using some different, um, brushes but before I do that I am going to go in and put a black rectangle for where my sentiment is gonna go and I'm gonna pull the sentiment over and I'm gonna make the sentiment white so that it shows up on the black background because a black sentiment does not show up on a black background so I created it and made it white so I've got the to my amazing friend and I did a stroke around it to make the thin uh, font a little bit bigger and easier to see and easier to print. So next I went in with some different brushes and the brushes that I used for this, I'm showing you which brushes I used. I used these um, ink and water brushes and I also used watercolor salt brushes to create different textures behind my butterfly. And for this one, I decided I wanted it to be yellow. So I started using the different brushes and I created a yellow background at first and I decided it needed some highlights. And so I went in with a couple of more different colors of yellow. And then I decided that I was gonna do the blue underneath. And so I did the same thing. I did a lighter blue and then I added some highlights with, or I guess shading is a better, uh, a better answer with the dark blue. And I also added some like orange up towards the yellow part of the background and some blue down here at the bottom part of the background. So that's how I created the panel. Now to recolor this, you could redo all that work, but there's a really interesting tool in Photoshop that you can go down to. It's this little half black, half white circle, and it creates a new layer, and you go into hue slash saturation, and if you play with the hue, it's gonna make all sorts of different colors. The saturation says how like black and white or how color saturated it is. The lightness talks about how dark or how light things are. So you can play around with that as well. Obviously, if the light is all the way down, it makes it black. If it's all the way up, it makes it white. Um, but the hue is what you're really gonna wanna focus on. And you don't have to adjust it very much, just a little bit, and then you have a whole new different color scheme. I really like this red too. I feel like I'm gonna go back in and change it. And this, oh, this fuchsia and green is gorgeous too. So messing with the hue, you can get all sorts of different color combinations. And you can go either way, and it just makes it a little bit different to where the colors flip-flop. 
So what was once on the bottom is on the top and vice versa. So I just did that until I created the panels that I wanted to and I saved each as its own file. And I'm really, really loving the way that these panels turned out. They're gonna print really nicely. Um, so that is all about the Pay It Forward video hop. I hope that you join us. I hope that you um, stop by each person so that you have more chances to win these products. Thanks so much for stopping by my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. And until next time, hugs and happy stamping. See ya.